In the vast universe, stars live, burn, and eventually die. When a giant star, many times larger than our sun, reaches the end of its life, it explodes in a spectacular event known as a supernova. And scientists explain that the conditions required to form iron, temperatures and pressures of unimaginable intensity, do not exist within our solar system. More than 1,400 years ago, the Quran revealed this truth. Earth's inner core, made of nearly 80% iron, creates the magnetic field that shields us from harmful solar radiation. The same iron also flows in our blood as hemoglobin, carrying oxygen to every cell, sustaining life itself. The temperature of the Earth's inner core is nearly 5,700 Kelvin, matching the chapter's number 57. In the vast universe, stars live, burn, and eventually die. When a giant star, many times larger than our sun, reaches the end of its life, it explodes in a spectacular event known as a supernova. In that cosmic blast, one of the most remarkable elements of creation is born, iron. Scientists explain that the conditions required to form iron, temperatures and pressures of unimaginable intensity, do not exist within our solar system. The Earth itself could never have produced iron on its own. Instead, billions of years ago, fragments of dead stars carried as meteorites fell upon the young Earth, seeding it with iron. But here lies the astonishing connection. More than 1,400 years ago, the Quran revealed this truth. The 57th chapter, Surah Al-Hadid, literally the iron, states, And we sent down iron, wherein is great strength and benefit for mankind. Quran 5725. This was written at a time when no human had any concept of stars, fusion, or supernovas. The miracles do not stop here. Iron is at the very core of our planet, both literally and figuratively. The Earth's inner core, made of nearly 80% iron, creates the magnetic field that shields us from harmful solar radiation. Without it, life could not exist. The same iron also flows in our blood as hemoglobin, carrying oxygen to every cell, sustaining life itself. And in the Quran, iron is placed with equal precision. The Quran has 114 chapters. Surah Al-Hadid is number 57, right in the center, just as iron rests at the center of the earth. Even the numerical value of the word Al-Hadid in the ancient abjad system equals 57, while the word Hadid alone equals 26, the atomic number of iron. The parallels continue. Surah Al-Hadid contains four sections. Iron itself has four stable isotopes. The Earth's inner core measures 2,475 kilometers, and remarkably, the chapter contains 2,475 letters. The temperature of the Earth's inner core is nearly 5,700 Kelvin, matching the chapter's number 57. Even one isotope of iron carries a mass number of 57. From the stars above to the blood within us, iron is woven into existence. Modern science only recently uncovered these truths, yet the Quran recorded them centuries ago, a testimony that this message could only have come from the Creator Himself. The story of iron is not just about physics or chemistry, it is about life, protection, energy, and survival. Without iron, there would be no earth as we know it, no shield from the sun, no breath in our lungs. And so, as the Quran declares, this element is both a force of strength and a gift of benefit to humanity, a living reminder that the book is a timeless miracle. Love science? Obsessed with space, AI, and future tech? Then what are you waiting for? Follow Science Digest Pakistan and join the smartest squad on the internet. Also like, share, and comment on your thoughts.